Well, welcome to part four, the end of our journey together. I feel like we've been through so much. In this episode, fourth and final episode, we're going to do some crazy 3D looking text and we're going to do some graticules that look like they're floating on the surface of the ocean and casting a little shadow on the seafloor. And now to frame my map some more, I'd like to add a latitude longitude graticule or grid. So I'll add data. I'll choose my graticule. And by default, in 3D, it helpfully is draped on the surface of the seafloor. Very cool. Let's make this a nice deep blue shadowy color. Let's make this a semi-transparent blue. And in the Structure tab, we'll duplicate this and make the second one a little thicker. So it's a little fuzzy, like a shadow. which means it's just begging to have a version sitting on the surface of the water. So I'll add that layer a second time. This time in the properties, with the elevation tab selected, I'll choose an absolute height of zero, so sea level. Now our graticule lines float on the surface of the water, and we can just make them semi-transparent white. Finally, let's add a label, and not a typical label. We'll break the rules and insert some curved text because we're only gonna be doing a very minor amount of label work. I'll press my button twice and drag and arc, double click to complete the line, and we'll call this the Salas Ridge. And now I can go into the properties of this text and style its font. I'll choose Century Gothic and I'll make it bold and italic. We'll see what we get. Its size I can set to something bigger like 24 and its letter spacing I'll just go bananas and give it 600. So we have a nice arc spanning the Solace Ridge. Now let's change how this appears. We can style this just like it's a polygon. So I'll expand this drop list and choose Format Polygon Symbol, and I'll make this semi-transparent white. And I'll dig in once more, and in the structure for this pseudo polygon, I'll duplicate this and add an effect called Move. And back in the Layers tab, I can choose this bottom version and give this my shadowy blue color. A little bit more semi-transparent. And with the move effect, I'll push it down. Offsetting it slightly from its surface. Now we have text that appears to be floating on the water, pushing shadows down to the sea floor. Now to, to label the other trench or ridge, I'll choose Control C, Control V to duplicate this text. Move it over to the general position where I want it. If I right click, I can edit the vertices of this text and change the orientation of this curve. and update its text. And now we have a pseudo 3D map of the Salas and Gomez ridges in the Pacific Ocean. And this is the completed map that we have just made together in this four part series. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing in this undersea mapping adventure. I'd love to see what you come up with. Happy mapping.